Good evening, everybody. Here is a Daniel Fast update. Today is the 16th of January. I have been consecutively on this fast since uh, the New Year's. I actually started prepping two days prior, but I, you know, I, I ate and drank on New Year's when the ball dropped. Then once New Year's hit, I started this 40 day journey. Um, just, you know, my wife and I, we started together. Right now, um, my wife might not want me to get into it all, but she's teetering on continuing or not. So just pray for her, give her strength uh, to go ahead and continue with this fast. Because like when you set this time aside, whether it's the Daniel fast, whether it's just fasting, whether it's Ramadan, or whatever you got going on, it's about making that sacrifice. It's about making that commitment. And some folks say, man, it has to be hard. Yeah, it is hard. A hundred percent. It is very hard because you have to realize that you can't do it alone. I've never been this long without drinking coffee since 1998. This is 2023. All right. I've been drinking coffee hard since 1998. I never thought that I would be able to give up coffee and I've done it. So it's it's more like just depending on God to get you through, depending on him for them tough times. You know, we come to God most of our lives in prayer and we're asking, 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 asking for something for him to do for us. In the Daniel fast, it's more we're listening, listening, listening and asking for strength to get through because we can't do it through our own will, but through his will, we can do it but more like listening to what he has and what opportunities he has to bring forward in our lives. I mean, you can tell by just my videos, my energy level has picked back up because if you look at day three, day four, day five, I was like this, I was dead. But now I have my energy back. Everything's, run, everything's working good. Everything's wonderful. So if you're contemplating the fast, I know a lot of people, you're going to look at different YouTube channels. You're going to read different audio books, look at, listen to podcasts or whatever. And they all tell you, do this, do that. One say you can't eat meat. One say you can't. One say you can have a cup of coffee a day. One will say you can have a cup of wine a day. Listen. Listen. This is a promise. A commitment that you're going to make. Not to yourself, but it's a commitment you're going to make to God that you gonna get through this duration of time. So whatever parameters, whatever boundaries that you do set for yourself, it's okay. I'm just asking you to stick to those parameters and stick to those boundaries. And that's how you get through. The urge of coffee is gone. The urge for sweets is gone. I never really had a huge urge for sweets, but I did like bread. I like things. I purchased some, some fruit and vegetables that I never ate before that I've never even had. So that's been a, a totally different experience just eating these things. I've been packing lunches, like small bags when I go out somewhere. I have a small bag with treats in it. The goal is to never get hungry. Eat something before you get hungry, but you can do it. Um, if you want some kind of medication, make sure that you check with your doctor before you get on this fast. But man, I'm gonna tell you, I'm listening to the Lord. And listening to God and he revealing some things to me and putting people and putting he's put me in a place where I was sitting right beside a person that I needed to talk to just because I've been being obedient. It's nothing that I did. It's just being obedient. So look, the Daniel fast day 16 out of 40, toughing it out. Will I make it? I pray I do. If I don't, you know, that's going to be okay too. But I want you to know that you can do it, not just for the health benefits, but for that strengthening your relationship with your creator, strengthening your relationship with your spouse and with your family, spending time preparing food, looking at what's going in your body, actually tasting the things that's going in our body and reading labels. I've never read so many labels in my life. I haven't realized that Everything I eat has sugar in it. Everything. And I love Chipotle. 
and what I was reading that the reason I probably like Chipotle so much is because they got the MSG. It's like you, once you start eating a Chipotle bowl, you can't stop. Every product on their line is full of MSG, full of sodium and salt. So that's what's drawing me to it. So, you know, I, I miss salad dressing, I swear. I swear I miss salad dressing. P.O.P., hold me down. You all I got. I'm in a good mood tonight, y'all. I just want y'all to know that things are happening. Stay tuned for this journey. Um, the Lord has revealed something to me, said it's a six month process to get there. I'm not gonna share it right yet, but six months will be about June, 2023, June or July, 2023, around that time frame. God already showed me he got this huge blessing for me. So I hope that you can stay heavily motivated. I hope that you can stay consistent and I hope that you like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the button below, share this with somebody that need to know this message. We got thugs, gangsters, fathers, husbands, all this stuff out here on this Daniel Fast. We can do it. We ain't locked out. Don't count me out. Count me in. I'm with it. We winning. We are winning. See the flowers on the table? I got it for my baby. A little something, something for her when she come in. See, I got the cards right there for her too. Gotta put, keep a smile on her face. But y'all stay heavily motivated. Stay humble, sit down, peace.